Hey guys, this is Henry from Obedia and PC Audio Labs again. Today we're going to be starting a new series of tutorials, or I guess you could say demonstrations, in which we're going to be uh, showing you the new features included in Studio One 5.1, which is the latest update um, that the people from Presonus did to their flagship software, Studio One. I'm going to go ahead and double click on this um, this MIDI information here, and as soon as I double click, as you can see, the edit um, tab is going to open. Now you can print in actual paper um, your score. Where do you do that? Well, you need to make sure that you are here in score view, and then at the end, there's this little printer button that if you click, it's print. Right now, I have a printer selected, but if I had one, I could simply select it and then press print, and optionally, I can also, down here, save as PDF, and that'll save it as a PDF file in my computer that I can later, uh, perhaps, share with my musicians or with the orchestra so they can, you know, practice at home or even print it. So that's the first thing. You can now print. That's really useful. Now, second feature, second added feature that I believe is really important especially when you're working with multiple parts within your score. Um, let's say a whole orchestra, okay? We're talking about, you know, 10, 20, maybe 30 instruments at the same time playing, right? So um, you want to make sure that your score looks as clean as possible, okay? So it's easier to read. And here's this new feature that they've added, which is the abbreviation uh, parameter here. Uh, if you are in score view and you select the track um, tab here, you can see here's my track name which is bass, but you also have an abbreviation. If you double click there, you can type an abbreviated version of bass, which you, I mean, you can't abbreviate bass too much, but let's suppose this was not a bass, but an actual saxophone. As you can see, it says saxophone, but I can abbreviate that as sax. So the first line will say saxophone, so you identify, okay, this is a saxophone. But then um, you can abbreviate to sax, so anywhere else within the score, it'll say sax. You can go even more abbreviated, like SX, for example, or S. And then every time you see that S, you know that's a saxophone line. Okay, so that's really cool, I think. I'm going to go back to sax. So that's the second one. Uh, there's another one here, which is the staff type. Um, you can switch the staff type from standard to grand staff to a drum set staff, so single line, depending on your instrument. Okay. Obviously, if you have a drum set, you might want to have that drum set staff selected. You know, if you have like a piano or something, you might want to have a grand staff, and so on and so forth. But now you know that you can switch that there. Okay. So. That's one of those. Now, another cool feature here, you can apply staff presets. So if you know for a fact that this is, let's say, a saxophone, like a soprano sax, you can simply apply a staff preset, go to saxophone and then soprano sax, and then everything just switched, the name, the abbreviation, the, the staff type, and the transposition to match the way a soprano sax would be. So that's very useful right there. Okay, so a couple more things here. Um, let's say you want to do a key signature change. Well, if you go here, up here, and you see your global track visibility, you enable that, you can see there's, a, I guess, a new timeline, which is the signature timeline. As you can see, I have uh, signature, it's a 4x4, it's a four four, but the key is set to C. Now, as you can see on the second measure, I switched to D minor. Well, how do you do that? Well, now with the signature, um, with this signature timeline, you can add signature changes. For example, let's say that here on the third measure, I want to switch to uh, to an F, like an F major key, to an F major key. So, you can simply click on that third measure, 
And then if you have signature enabled here, you can go to this little plus sign and then insert key signature. And then I can go to F major and here's my F major. I can also click on that plus and do a time signature change. As you can see, we started in 4-4. Let's say we want to go 7-4. Well, we can go 7-4, press OK, and then on measure number three, we switch from D minor, which before it used to be C, we switch to an F major, and then we switch from 4-4 to 7-4. So that's pretty cool there. One last thing that I believe is really important, especially if you are if you're composing and you want to make sure that you're within the I guess the time frame of a regular song, you want to know where you are as far as minutes and seconds, right? Well, right now we are we're only seeing bars and beats. So we can go back here to global track visibility and select ruler. This is going to show a secondary ruler right below the the main um, measures and beats ruler. And this secondary ruler, you, you can see it here, it says ruler. And then if you click on this drop down list, you can switch it from seconds to samples to more bars and beats or frames. In this case, we're going to leave it in seconds. So you can see like the top shows measures and beats and then the one below, one second, two seconds, three seconds, four seconds, five, so on and so forth. And for example, you can see like down here on measure four, we are around nine seconds into the song. So those are the new features included in Studio One 5.1 related to per, um, arranging, like arrangement and uh, key signatures and rulers and things like that. Stay tuned for the next tutorials, the next demonstration videos, and we'll go deeper into the other new features in Studio One 5.1. Thank you for watching and stay tuned at Obedient PC Audio Labs for the next videos. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Want to learn how to produce music using this or using that or using all of these? Have you been watching videos, reading manuals, blogs, and trying to figure out everything that it takes to be a music producer? Do you have a bunch of music gear that you purchased and you still haven't made any music? Well, then you need Obedia, the world's only one-on-one -on -one digital audio training and tech support service. Check out the link below for a special new subscriber offer.